Hello my viewers. Magic Patrick one has asked me to make this video and I'm putting a link to his channel over to the side in the description. Um, he's asked me to make a video on the do's and don'ts on video making uh, for uh, eight, one making HVAC videos. And so look, and actually the same thing could be applied to any video uh, making in reality but um, some of them are more specific to the HVAC type of videos. The first one is that yes it's true YouTube partners can make longer videos than the standard 10 minute video that YouTube will allow non-partners to make but it's still a good idea to make them short short as possible and most definitely under 10 minutes Many people do get bored watching some of the longer YouTube videos. If you have a lot of material to cover that is going to require more than 10 minutes, make more than one video about the same topic. Okay, like um, uh, compressors 1, compressors 2, compressors 3, whatever. Uh, and make each video so that they can stand alone. If somebody comes along and watches your Compressors 11 video first, make it so that it is not prerequisite to having to watch the first 10. Another is edit out all the video junk. Edit, edit, edit. Less can be better. Oh. Well, I'm going to run over to this other place here. We'll see what it looks like too now. And then I hope that you'll see what I mean. It's really going to be awesome. And like, you'll, you'll see what I mean. It's it's unbelievable how, how awesome it's going to be. See? So, wait a minute. Let me get up to this thing here and I'll show you. Another is don't make a video just to make a video. Quality control. If people start seeing that your videos aren't really up to par, they're going to unsubscribe or they're just not going to watch you. Your subscribers want to see quality. Okay, They want to see you doing quality things. They want to learn something. Uh, they, they don't want to see a, a video of just you running around the neighborhood or acting weird or something. Well maybe they do. I, I don't know. But uh, if it's an air conditioning video then maybe you want to make sure that uh, you know they learn something valuable. Hi, I'm making this video because like I haven't made a video in such a long time and stuff so I'm making this video right now and I mean I hope you enjoy this video it's really quite a video and I'm really hoping everybody enjoys it. I, I really hope so. Uh, background music is a topic for me that this is almost a pet peeve of mine. I, I hate it when, when somebody is talking over, or should, should I say under the music, where the music is just blaring, which, which should be background music, uh, and the person is talking to where you're just having to strain your ears trying to understand what they're saying because of all the flipping music. Uh, not everybody really likes to have music in the videos and and music um, there's so many genre of music too I mean uh, you know hip-hop isn't all that for everybody okay or or uh, um, punk music isn't all that for everybody I mean not everybody likes classical so you you really have to be careful about the kind of background music that you put in your videos. And besides that, music isn't in really even needed in most videos. Uh, it's more distracting than anything. It's always great to get special permission from someone to videotape at their home and and make sure regardless of if you get their permission make sure that you do not videotape their address or the customers themselves 
The trick is, is only show the air conditioning equipment. Don't show the inside of the house or the outside of the house. Be discreet. You never know who's watching. Man, this place is a mess. Look at this. Oh my gosh, we've got to put an air conditioner here today. What is this? They're trying to grow some kind of weird flowers here? Oh, look at this. I can't believe these people never mow the lawn or something. This is terrible. Oh, oh hi, ma'am. What do you mean, young man, my lawn needs to be mowed? Product reviews is really my favorite kind of video to make. It gives the techs out in the field an opportunity to check out uh, products that maybe they weren't even aware of and it gives the uh, manufacturers some feedback about their products and keep in mind that it's best to make friends rather than non-friends uh, constructive criticism can be good but always make sure that you point out the good points about a product and the well if there are any bad points about the product as well if the product just completely really sucks then you're better off not to do a review on it anyway again you never know who's watching uh, throwing product names under the bus will not make your review all that great unless you can make it funny enough to make the president of that corporation laugh and uh, not too many people have that ability so uh, like I said friends are better than non-friends and keep in mind are you really willing to take that risk with your professional future another thing is it's very important to watch uh, viewers who watch your videos because uh, people like to have that interaction on YouTube that's what it's all about if the people that are watching you didn't want that special interaction they just sit and watch TV commenting is so important too. keep instructional videos short simple and to the point and don't talk fast when you're making instructional videos not everyone is fluent in English and don't mumble please and while it's great to post videos and don't post more than two videos a day people hate it when you clod up their queue with tons of videos to watch it's frustrating when you can't get all the videos watched that you'd like to watch if you're aiming to become a YouTube partner uh, there's a lot of other things you have to be careful of like watch those f-bombs and uh, music uh, music that you use should be created by yourself um, and or have paid for to use I've been told that you can post music that was created by certain sources but I would rather not uh, make any complications so I just don't trust using it